visiting with a person one day and he wanted to sell a house. They'd been wanting to sell it for a long time and it wasn't moving. They'd outgrown it. it. Wasn't pleasing to them at all. And we said, why do you want to sell this house? And they said, because we've outgrown it. We have more children now. There's not room for all of us. It's not in the neighborhood that we want to live in. The vegetation doesn't look the way we want it to. We're done with this house. And so we presented to the world the advertisement for that house. Come and buy this house that's too small, this house that's surrounded by a garden that doesn't look good. Come and buy this place we no longer want. Come and get it. <laughs> and so, of course, he understood our sarcasm. And then we said, do you remember what it was like moving into that house in the beginning? And he said, yes, when we found it, we were so excited about it. And we said, why? And he, he said, because it was what we were moving into. It was something that was more and better for us. There was a place for all of us at the time. And we said, and what did the landscaping look like at the time? And he said, there wasn't any. We planted everything that was there every weekend we would go by another bush or another tree and together we would plant it and we said and do you remember how that felt and he said we loved the place it was so fun watching it become and we said now that's a different advertisement that you're putting out to the universe yes. now you're saying come and find this thing that is just right for you and so it's an interesting thing our friend earlier said I'm afraid about something and what he meant in this situation is I'm afraid if I make peace with my business I'll get stuck with it I'm afraid the universe will misunderstand I'm afraid the universe will think I'm happy with it if I don't complain about it <laughs> and it seems like in order to distance myself from a condition that I don't want that I have to say no to it and point out what's wrong with it but the opposite of it is what you're really wanting to do because what that condition has produced for you is something that is new that is in the vortex and you've got to find a way of lining up with who you now are and what you now want this is a universe that's based upon attraction or inclusion there's no exclusion in it and we know you know that so right now in this moment how do you include what you want in your vibration about a business that you want to leave behind isn't that a good question how do I right now include in my vibration vibration that will bring me what I do want which I believe is a separation from what I don't want and the answer is you just got to look at everything on the subject of business or otherwise that causes you to feel good receptive mode is all you've got to accomplish do you know you could have ten subjects of importance and nine of them could be going very well for you in terms of conditions the conditions of nine subjects could be just right and the condition of one subject could be awful what most people do is they focus upon the one condition that's awful until they mess up their frequency across the board and then all of the other things begin to get out of whack too or you could have one thing that's really good and nine things that aren't and you could focus upon the one thing that causes you to feel good adjust your vibration and you'll receive inspiration about the improvement of all the other nine so we're doing a really strong sales job here we want you to understand what your work is your work is not to improve the condition so that you can feel better your work is to feel better so that the condition will be improved but that isn't exactly the way we want to say it either because that's not really the way that it is because if the ulterior motive is to fix the condition you're still doing it conditionally so you got to do it because you want to feel good period really do you care if you're happy because you're swimming or happy because you're gardening or happy because you're in a thriving prospering business does it matter what the condition is if you're happy no it doesn't does it no. So what is it that causes you to find things in the condition that you don't like and believe that you got to get away from them when it's never about that anyway? It's always about alignment. Do you believe us when we say that you've created a vibrational reality? Yes. Do you believe us when we say that your inner being, that source, whatever you want to call that non-physical consciousness is projecting revealing vivid precise information about how
to get what you're asking for yes and so doesn't it seem logical that you just want to do whatever you can to get in that receptive mode so that the ideas can occur to you we think that what has happened to so many is that you've lived in a world where others around you have been moving things around through their action and you've been instructed by well-meaning people to do these things and then you are rewarded and so you do that and they give you an A or that you do that and they give you a B or they do that and they give you a paycheck or you do that and so you've become accustomed to doing and getting and doing and getting and doing and getting you've sort of trained yourselves into the mediocre very slow way of moving through life experience but those who discover the leverage of alignment one who's connected and inspired more powerful than millions who are not that's why you call them masters when they get tuned in that's why you recognize them oh that guy's got all the good ideas you know why he's not toiling in the trenches and resenting it he gave himself permission to do what he loved to do so that makes you say well then I should find something that I love to do which means I have to get rid of this thing that I don't love and we say yeah but you can't shake loose of something that you're calling to you with all of your attention to it in order to change the condition you've got to change the frequency and in order to change the frequency you've got to change the conversation you have got to change the subject you got to change it to something that causes your vibration to shift and when it does everything in your experience shifts too that makes perfect sense to you doesn't it, it does so if we were standing in your physical shoes we would do two things we would do more of the things that please us we would give ourselves permission to do it and we would compliment ourselves on doing the things that are pleasing Esther she's doing a lot of this lately where she's not exactly doing something that she thinks she should be doing in other words if she was really doing what she thinks she should be doing she would get that book ready for you because it's been in an almost ready place for a long time she'd get it ready but it's a grind she doesn't really want to do it she feels guilty because she doesn't do it she should do it she feels like she should do it so when she's not doing that she feels like she should be doing that so no matter what she's doing she's not in alignment do you remember when you were in school and every minute you weren't studying you felt like you should be studying because you never got it all figured out did you you never got to the place where you really felt like you really had it so you got to find a way to give yourself permission to be where you are to like yourself where you are to like where you are to like where you are with all your flaws and flows and with all your incompletion oh that's so big that's so big you're never gonna get it done except <laughs> that you're never gonna get it done and you can't get it wrong and the reason you can't get it wrong is because it's never done you're never gonna get it done so you might as well give yourself permission right now to do something that feels good to you while you do it and if you will get on that sort of roll where you're doing more of what feels good to you and while you're doing it try to soften the guilt while you enhance the this is good this feels good I'm enjoying this I'm liking this I like this I like the way this feels I like this if you'll get into that mindset more of the time more ideas will flow to you and when you translate an idea from source when you realize an idea from source it always feels so good it always feels like something that you want to do so often you think oh well I just want to not do that in other words if I could just not do that then I'd be happy if I didn't have to go to school or if I didn't have to go to work or if I didn't have to do that or if I could just get rid of all the burden of all this stuff I have to do and we say that's backwards the way you want to approach it is start doing more of what you want to do and start noticing that you're feeling good in the doing of it start noticing that this feels good and this feels good and this feels good give yourself this is what we are asking of you we're asking you to give yourself permission to feel good in whatever it is you're choosing to do right now and that means stop doing so much out of service ah you'll never hear anything more important from us ever stop doing it out of service and reward from the opinions of others and do it out of pleasure and alignment for self and then oh <laughs> then before you know it you'll be doing the work that feels the best to you you'll be saying to yourself there's nothing in all the world that I would rather be doing than this right here right now 
this is who I am for now this is what I want to do this is who I am and all of me is focused here all of me is flowing here all of me is in on this conversation all of me is in on this art all of me is in on this receiving of this music all of me is in on this inspired gardening all of me is in on this inspired 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 all of me because in any moment in time that you've pinched off some of you and you are not allowing all of you then you're not having a very good time and you're wanting to be someplace else.